Hey Gemini, how's it going? I hope everybody's having a great day. This is going to be messages from the person that you are thinking about from their heart and soul to you. So take a moment, take a deep breath, reach out to your spirit guides in the universe to channel in their energy into this reading. And we are going to get into the reading. Do take what resonates and then always head over and watch your rising, your moon, and your Venus placement sign readings for additional clarity. I'm going to pull from multiple decks, so do stick around to the end. All right, Spirit. Oh, as promised, I'm giving away three free love readings for the month of April. So if you are new, my name is Sam. Welcome to my channel. Go ahead and subscribe so you can take part in the giveaways. And then leave a flower emoji, new and returning. Leave a flower emoji in the comment section of this reading. As most of you know, at the end of the reading, I... At the end of the month, I will randomly choose three people to win. Reach out to you through YouTube, but I'll always remind you at the end of the month to be checking your notifications. All right, let's get into it. Spirit for my Gemini's, the person that they are thinking about, the energy bit. Okay, thank you. We have oh, wisdom. Look at this, the Hierophant. Union. Learning specific lessons, wisdom, change is coming, positive movement forward. I do feel communication coming in. This is the Eight of Wands, Cupid's Arrows, wanting union with you, Gemini. Overcoming those obstacles and those challenges. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Moving forward, overcoming healing, wanting union, following the light at the end of the tunnel to be into union. One of you or both of you may have a dog. I see a white dog right here. Overcoming the obstacles and moving forward. All right, let's get into it. Five, five, change is coming, spirit. For my Gemini's, the person that you're channeling into this reading. Okay, let's see. Dark night of the soul. Like I said, overcoming challenges. Now, cross watchers, take it how it resonates. Gemini, both of you may have had things to heal from. Things from past experiences up until meeting one another. I am fighting my demons and re-examining my actions it is life-altering and also extremely painful. At times, I'm fighting against the changes, but I, at times, I fight against the changes, but I know it must happen for me to evolve and be with you. Going through a dark night of the soul. Someone who was ego-driven. Someone who allowed their swords to remain up, allowed certain things through the swords, was very controlling. Someone who put themselves as a priority. Now that's okay to do, but when you're in a connection and you're trying to move forward, like the focus should be on the two of you. You come together as a team. And this one, this person was at times thinking as a party of one. Aquarius energy showing up. So could be an Aquarius, but I feel like this person was very, very independent. They thought more along like the lines of just being, you know, just making decisions based on themselves. Very impulsive. Might at times seemed aloof. I acted like I didn't care, but I did. I just needed my time and space to think on my own. I didn't want to be tied down by a relationship because I wasn't ready to put the work in. But I feel like that dark night of the soul came in as there was distance between the two of you. All right, let's see. Things they could have been hiding, messages that they still want you to know from their heart and soul. I look for you everywhere and I love you unconditionally. Spying on your social media, for those of you that live in the same community, looking for you, hoping 
possibly going to a Starbucks that they know that you'll be at or that you always went to, hoping at some point they'll run into you. I'll come back for you. So this person does plan on reaching out. Anything else, Spirit, from the person Gemini is thinking about? All right. I lost myself for a while. That goes with the dark night of the soul. At the time you were dealing with them, they were going through things that they possibly didn't open up to you about. If they became humble with what they were hiding, they were letting their guard down, Gemini. Remember, e ego-driven, they couldn't let their guard down. All right, Spirit, what do you have for Gemini, for the person that they are currently thinking about, drawing their energy into this reading? Yeah, see, they were closed off. They self-sabotage this connection, and they know it. This shows the dark night of the soul that they were going in, going through. They were stuck within their worry, their own fears. They felt at a loss within themselves. And it's possible that loss, that fear was from childhood. Poor upbringing, not a loving upbringing. It does say rebirth. I know it has winter. Depending when you see this, if winter is soon, obviously we're moving into spring for the southern fall for the northern, but there will be a rebirth here. I feel like you being in their life, Gemini, this person started to think about the future. Yeah, see, they are missing you. That shows the darkness that surrounds them. But they are longing for you. All right, let's see what else we can get. For some of you, this is your soulmate. And it's possible you and this person, being in separation, had karmic had karma to pay back from the previous lifetime. All right, let's see. Yeah, they're still reminiscing. I do feel that they are dealing with their regrets. Um, they're dealing with what put them into this dark night of the soul type energy. I feel patience is coming through like needing to have patience with this person when are you going to hear from them why is it taking forever you know we all heal at different timings and spirit is coming through with patience balance yeah see venus the goddess of love showing up i do feel healing harmony romance Look at this. You're in their thoughts. You're in their heart. But this is what they're going through. And be honest, Gemini, some of you may be going through this right now. Self-sabotage. You know, longing to be loved, but the fear of being loved. Remaining closed off and your guard up because that's how you feel like you're protecting yourself. Healing those little cracks within both of your souls. There will be action taken, remember. The Eight of Wands is here, so there will be communication. There will be forward movement between the two of you. For some of you, you are going to hear, hear an apology from this person. And at the bottom of the deck is the Eight of Wands, the forward movement, the communication again. All right, let's see. Spirit, what else do you have for the person that Gemini is thinking about? Ten of Coins in reverse. Yeah, I really feel like this person was ego-driven, focused on their career, their work, 
um, their finances, their stability. But I feel in separation, it was time for them to self-evaluate. Like I said, dark night of the soul. These could be things that have happened to them from the past, from childhood. But they are going to follow their heart towards you. Yeah, look at this. They're breaking free. They're coming towards you. Spirit is illuminating the path. You're going to get the confession. You're going to get, you know, the apology. Things are going to come to light. Secrets will be lifted. All right, Spirit. How are you helping this connection between Gemini and the person that they are thinking about? They're helping this person become real with themselves. Knight of Swords, someone who seizes the day, takes action on the day, does not think about long term in the moment. Also known as the runner type energy. They're helping this person deal with what they've got going on. Bring balance within their own life. So that they can come towards you in a fair energy. All right, let's see what else we could get. Spirit for the person Gemini is thinking about. I really feel this ending came in like a tower moment. It was something that had to happen, but neither one of you wanted it to happen. Like I said, there was a very intense feeling, strong love here. But if you notice, the two cards that came out first were the ball and chain and the tower moment. Being weighed down from things of the past, possibly an unhappy marriage, toxic relationship, two parents that fought all the time. As a child, they, you know, they witnessed it. Emotional baggage. And like I said, karmic Karma in your favor is happening. The wheel is turning. There will be movement, communication. When left feeling alone, this person felt isolated. They had a lot to deal with in that time of being single, of being apart from you. Almost like the five of pentacles energy on the outside looking in. That's why this came out in reverse. They are dealing with their obstacles. Yeah, they are dealing with what's complicated in their life. But they are going to take a leap of faith towards you. They're breaking free from what is like a conundrum in their life. What is holding them back? All right, final messages and then we'll get Scrapple Tiles. From my Geminis and the person that they are channeling through in this reading. I had to guard my heart so that I didn't get hurt again. I think about you so much it scares me. Do you love me the way I love you? See, this person, being apart from you, they realized, and look what wants to come out. I miss you. I wish you were next to me. I thought it was I miss you. I wish you were next to me. You are so different than anyone I've ever met. I love everything about you. You're so attractive inside and out. The stars are aligning. So there's that soul connection that they know. That divine connection. Soulmate, possibly twin flame. I need to be selfish right now and learn to love myself. Please do the same and time will tell. See this person in this energy was feeling a lot more than they let on. They put their sword up. They put their ego in. You know, uh, they started to self self sabotage this connection from jump start. They had to learn themselves, learn to love themselves, and heal from things that they that they hadn't that they pushed down deep. And then once being in separation from you, everything started bubbling to the surface. 
All right, let's see, Gemini. But there will be communication. T Y I C E H F L O B S W. Good bit. So do take what resonates. Leave that flower emoji down below in the comment section to take part in the giveaway. Gemini, um, my Etsy shop, the link is in the description box. Lotus444 is my shop name. It is going to stay on vacation mode until the second weekend in April. I did get back from my vacation. Obviously, I got sick from my voice. However, um, I also had a death in the family. So I'm going to reopen um, between the 13th and 14th of April. However, you can head over there and favorite the shop. And once you do that, you'll get notification when I reopen so you can see all the personal readings that I have to offer. All right, so much love and light, guys.